Hare Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisance as well to Shri Prabhupada. We welcome devotees to our morning Bhagavatam class. This morning, the class will be given by His Holiness Chandramali Swami. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shri Prabhupada, all glory to you, Maharaj. My obeisances to you and all the devotees. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And Maharaj will be speaking on Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 8, Verse 2 and 3. We just started a new chapter, and the chapter is entitled Prayers by Queen Kunti and Parikshit Saved. Marge, it's all yours. Parikshit Saved, is that your husband? No. no. <laughs> Parikshit Maharaj. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> we, we, everyone should get saved. <laughs> yes, Marge, only by the person mercy of Prakshin Maharaj who was the son of Mother Uttara. We have to follow. If we can follow his steps, hopefully we can be saved by your mercy, Maharaj. Okay. Om again. Well, I'll do the verses first. Te nidi yoda kam sarve vipaya cha bhisam punaham aputa hari padabja Rajaputam Sari Sarijale Translation Having lamented over them and sufficiently offered Ganga water, they bathe in the Ganges, whose water is sanctified due to being mixed with the dust of the lotus feet of the Lord. Verse number three. Tatrasinam kuro patim dridarastram sahanujam gandarim putasokartam prittam krishnam chamaravaha. There sat the king of Kuru of the king of the Kurus, Maharaj Yudhisthir, along with his younger brothers and Dhritarashtra, Gandhari, Kunti, and Draupadi all overwhelmed with grief. Lord Krishna was also there. Purport. The battle of Kurukshetra was fought between family members and thus all affected persons were also family members like Maharaj Yudhisthir and brothers, Kunti, Draupadi, Subhadra, Dhritarashtra, Gandhari and her daughter, daughters-in-law, etc. All the principal dead bodies were in some way or other related with each other, and therefore their family grief was combined. Lord Krishna was also one of them as the cousin of the Pandavas and nephew of Kunti, as well as the brother of Subhadra, etc. The Lord therefore was equally sympathetic towards all of them, and therefore he began to pacify them befittingly. Umagyan timiranda syagina jena salakaya jaksun militam yena tas my shri gurubhina maha nama om vishnu padaya krishna prasthaya bhutale shri makti bhakti virada swami ti namine namaste sarasvati deve gaudavani vachari nini vishishra sinyavari pasyatya de satarine Vancha kalpa to rubis cha kripa sindu pa e pacha vatitanam pavane bio vaishnave bio namaho namaha Jai si krishna chaitana prabhunitananda sri advaita gadat har sri vasadi gaur bhakta vrinda Hare krishna Hare krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hmm. So, yeah, now the, uh, this is after the event with the, the seven, the five sons of, uh, of Draupadi have been killed mercilessly by Asvatama while they were sleeping. The boys were only 12 years old. And as it says here, the 
persons who were killed were all related to each other and therefore the family grief was combined because you have the Kurus and the Pandavas. The whole family is the Yadavas, but they are divided into two groups according to family connections, the Pandavas and the Kurus. Sometimes it's also mentioned the Vrishnis. So, yeah, you have a mutual sadness going on. You can see even the Lord takes place in such, or takes part in such activities to pacify those who are lamenting over the departed dear ones. Hmm. Um, to grief over dear ones who have been departed, or even devotees in general, is natural. Hmm. And we see that everywhere and even the Lord takes part in it. Well, what makes it material is that we fail to move on in our life and we somehow languish or procrastinate in that mood and continue to keep it going. You know, becoming absorbed in our own lamentation or our own feelings of unhappiness. And then it's material, but the initial feelings of grief and the sadness, which comes when a great soul, someone dear to us somewhere, something connected with us in some form or another departs. Well, that's natural, that's normal, that's human. But mm, to continue like, for instance, I know one person who lost her husband and, and the husband's been gone for 30 years or more, but she still grieves over his departure. Not somehow or other realizing that, <laughs> you know, the soul is in a different situation now. What she remembers as her husband is no longer a reality. And uh, so that grief is just self-indulgence rather than actual, you know, genuine grief or sadness. And people get involved like that and they fail to move on in time, move on. And uh, you'll see as things go on here, how Kunti steps forward and just turns the whole thing into glorification of Sri Krishna after some time so and it's interesting and it's also very instructive to see you get a little insight into the nature of the lord how he is acting sympathetic towards everyone there and trying to give them some pacification to mitigate their sadness but the lord is not insensitive to these things nor should we be to uh, in order to show some kind of false sense of transcendence <laughs> sometimes we say a devotee is too transcendental to show emotions but emotions are a part of krishna consciousness when they are directed by proper uh, understanding uh, emotions for the sake of emotions can lead to disaster. Uh, when people get caught up in the emotional mood and somehow lose understanding and direction and how to understand things and how to <coughs> and how to move forward in life, then it becomes material. But we see here how the Lord is not insensitive to the grief that is being experienced by his family members in this case. His, Kunti is his aunt and um, the Pandavas are his dear friends. Arjuna is his, you know, devoted servant. So there is a very intimate connection between the Lord and others. 
the Lord, the Lord has emotions, just like it says that, or exhibits emotions. Prabhupada says the Lord feels unhappy to see the conditioned souls in the material world suffering. And so in that unhappiness, his mood of compassion, which is his nature, acquiesces him to do something to try to relieve that suffering, not because he wants to feel good, but because by nature, this is that he loves all living entities. And therefore, when you love someone, you want them to be happy. And when they're unhappy, there is a sense of um, not unhappiness or sadness, but there's a is one, the person also becomes affected in a way to motivate themselves to do something to help relieve the suffering of those they love. So because Krishna loves everyone, he comes, yada yada yadarmasya. He comes to the material world to give his association to the devotees, to right the wrongs that have been created by the demons, and to uh, uh, you know, reestablish a saintly rule in the world where people can become happy. He doesn't have to do that. He could just leave the material energy to do everything of itself. But this is his love for his devotees. We, have, we get a little insight of the nature of the Lord and how he re responds to his. For him, his devotees are the most important part. It says that when um, the four Kumaras were traveling through the Vaikuntha realm and they came through the different gates, they had passed through six gates. They were about to go through the seventh gate. But two uh, gatekeepers, Jai and Vikai, Jai, decided to stop them and feeling they felt that they were unqualified to go any farther. Of course, they were wrong. They didn't understand that the four Kumaras were fully self-realized souls, and they had such joyful, uh, experience, uh, joyful demeanors, wanting to in the anticipation of wanting to see the Lord. They were so happy that they were going to see the Lord. And then when they were stopped, their happiness became a source of great unhappiness and even anger. And they started, they actually cursed the Jai and Vijay. The Lord appeared and the Lord uh, try, was actually apologizing to the four Kumaras that if my, you know, my devotees have offended you, then therefore, and this is an, this is an offense committed by me. Also, the Lord was apologizing on behalf of His gatekeepers because He felt that they uh, they had offended the four Kumaras, and therefore. He actually took responsibility for the offense. <laughs> so this is how the Lord actually loves his devotees. And there are many, many incidents. So the whole process of devotional service is to exchange love with the Lord. And we get an insight of how, what is the Lord's nature in each and every situation. Sometimes he appears that he doesn't show love or even respond to someone who, who gives love, such as the gopis sometimes, they, uh, they're overwhelmed with loving affection for them, him, and they'll do everything they can to stay in his association, but still he leaves them. He still, he leaves them. Um, so it looks like he's a little insensitive to their love and their love is pure, but it is not. He does that for many different reasons, just like to show the world that despite the fact that I'm not there and they want me to be there, their love is perfect, just to, just to glorify the gopi's love that it doesn't matter what the beloved does, still the love remains strong. Just for example, we have that verse in the 
Shikshastika prayers, Alishyava Pinaratam Kunas to Mama Darshanam, Mama Hatam Kuro to Vayata Tatava Vedadati Lompato, Matpranam Nastu Sareva Natpalaha. Uh, Radharani is actually speaking this verse. <clears throat> this verse is not for the conditioned souls or even for the ordinary devotees. It's, this verse is on the highest platform of loving experience. It's love in meeting the Lord and explaining that it doesn't matter. Even I'm feeling so much separation from you and I want you to come back. And when you come back, you sometimes mistreat me. But still, it doesn't matter. My love doesn't change no matter how you treat me or don't treat me. If I have expectations and, or, and, and you don't meet those expectations, still my love doesn't change. Of course, it appears like that sometimes where Radharani responds to Krishna's lack of responding to her love. And she acts in a very angry way. But this is all for the pleasure of Krishna because she knows that this pleases Krishna. Krishna likes various moods of that loving relationship. Like I was just reading just before we came on today of Rukmini's love for Krishna and how Krishna was teasing Rukmini in different ways, putting himself in a position of being so unqualified that he could not understand why she chose him when she had such great choices, such as great kings who had come and they were begging at her lotus feet to, be, to become her husband. And uh, so he was glorifying her qualities and the prowess and the power of these great kings. And he was pretty much saying, you know, you, you don't really know how to choose husbands. <laughs> you chose me. <laughs> who, you know, I don't have any, any cast. <laughs> I hide out in the sea. Um, I'm worshipped by beggars. <laughs> I, I uh, you know, I don't have any possessions. <laughs> so, the Krishna is like putting himself down in so many ways. And finally, Rukmini, after hearing all this, Krishna was just doing this in a facetious way just to see how she would respond in an angry way. But she didn't. <laughs> she took it as a personal uh, grief and she just fainted in anxiety hearing Krishna's words. And then later on in the same discussion, Rukmini takes every reason that Krishna presents to her for, him, for her choosing him that was actually incorrect and he she turns it around and shows that all everything he said is true but is understood in a different way <laughs> and um she does show a little bit of anger towards him when she says you know uh, you think that i didn't understand that my choice for you was actually the right thing but therefore you think I would take these other kings who are, who are just like beggars compared to you? They have no good qualities. You are the only person who is befitting to be the husband of all women, but to speak of just me. <laughs> so she turns the whole thing around and glorifies Krishna. And at the same time, shows Krishna that her, that her love is, you know, hmm you know, pure, it's not going to be <clears throat> deterred by whatever he says or does. She'll love him in any condition. And so this is, um, this is how Krishna works in order to uh, enhance the loving mood between himself and his pure devotees, just to uh, bring it to a higher level and to go deeper into the mood of understanding uh, that made the nature of that love and how it plays itself out in different ways. So Krishna is the master of love. He's the, he's the, he has perfected the art of love to its highest extent. And uh, he knows how to deal in different ways to bring out that love more and more. 
He does that with us also as his devotees in the material world. We are struggling here to somehow serve him. Sometimes he seems to be unavailable or he's just not around or, or maybe he's forgotten us. <laughs> it appears that way sometimes, but actually that's never the case. He's always there protecting his devotees, guiding his devotees and reciprocating with his devotees in different ways. But due to our inability to understand how Krishna works, we sometimes see it, see it in a way that he is actually uh, doesn't understand us <laughs> or, or has somehow or other forgotten us. But Krishna is not like that. He is very, very available in different ways but sometimes he hides in order to simply bring out the love more or to purify us from some material attachment, which is blocking our relationship with him. So he is the master of all loving relationships. And how he plays it out is always different in different cases, just like when he, Kubja was there, Kubja. When Krishna came to Dwarka uh, on, the, on the request of Akrura, who was requested by Kamsa to bring Krishna to Mathura, because Kamsa had a plan to kill Krishna, and he used Akrura to bring Krishna to Vrindavan. But Krishna wanted to come anyway. Akrura was just sent, so it appears that Kura had a role, but he was just getting the association of Krishna. Therefore, he, he benefited in that way. But when Krishna came, he was just walking all over Mathura and just meeting different people. And uh, when he came to this hunchback who um, she came and she was uh, offering very amorous and very feminine, charming uh, gestures and statements trying to attract Krishna in a conjugal way. Krishna uh, pretty much accepted everything she said, but always postponed all of her entries to a later date. And the reason why Krishna did that is because he knew that this was not the time for him to give mercy to her. And so he waited to he actually, when he went to her place, and what did he do? He actually reciprocated in such a wonderful way that she was completely satisfied just serving Krishna nicely. And there was no, um, there was no, there was no amorous activity that actually played itself out. She was so satisfied just serving Krishna that that was enough for her. And Krishna also straightened her out. She was a hunchback. He put his feet on top of her feet and he, and with his arms, he pulled her upward where she became straight. <laughs> Just a little side note for those who are, would like to hear this. Um, I knew one uh, lady, she was a chiropractor. And she had gone to a chiropractic session where the doctors were showing various types of new ways or teaching new ways to do the art of chiropractic. So in this presentation, there was a slideshow. And in the slideshow, now this is completely secular. It's all done in the material realm. In the slideshow, these doctors had included one slide of Krishna standing on uh, Kubja's feet and pulling her up. <laughs> so they thought that was a good way to advertise what they were trying to uh, teach. <laughs> so obviously, everyone got benefit from that because they saw Krishna in, the, in that slideshow. And Krishna was given some credit for doing something good, <laughs> according to them. So that was something I found interesting. 
uh, many years ago when I met this lady. She was telling me all about this. So this is Krishna. He's very personal. He reciprocates. Sometimes it says in the uh, in the uh, it does say in the Bhagavad Gita, "Yeyatam mam prapadyante tam stataiva bhajami aham mama vartmanu vartante manusha parta sarva shaha." Krishna says, "I reciprocate according to how you re to you approach me," and that is generally a statement of correction. It's correct, but Krishna goes even further beyond that. That. Uh, as Prabhupada would illustrate, his father used to tell him that if you take two steps towards Krishna, take Krishna takes 10 steps towards you. And this is true, that Krishna always is greater in reciprocating our activities than what we can offer to Krishna. Because what can we offer to Krishna? We can't offer him anything. But our love, that's the only thing that is attracting Krishna. Nothing else attracts Krishna because everything belongs to him anyway. Uh, the whole concept of the absolute truth is one principle. But the concept of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the absolute truth, Lord Sri Krishna himself, is the complete manifestation of uh, reality. Therefore, everything is within the Lord. Therefore, the Lord does not possess anything because everything is within him. <laughs> if you possess something, that means something is outside of you. And therefore, you own it or you use it. But Krishna doesn't possess anything because everything is within him and everything belongs to him. And everything is just a, an expansion of himself in the form of his different energies. So when we offer something to Krishna, we're only giving him back our love. And the item we offer is an opportunity to become detached from that item and give it and use it in the service of the Lord. But for Krishna, it's not like he's gaining something. And if he gives you something, he's not losing something either because everything is owned and controlled by him. That's Krishna. So we get a little insight of how the nature of the Lord here, how uh, sympathetic he was and how much he wanted to mitigate the feelings of lamentation that was going on amongst his dear associates. And therefore, he makes an effort and takes part. He actually, it's mentioned, I think, in the first verse of this chapter, he actually took part in the uh, last rites. So he not only was showing sympathy, but he actually came and helped to perform the last rites that were done for the deceased relatives. <laughs> okay, so these are something we can think about. I'll stop there and see if there's any further discussion or questions. Thank you so much, Mark, for such a nice class and pointing out key points, especially um, attachment or detachment to death of family members and how the oh, yeah. Lord is so sympathetic. Thank you so much. If, if there are questions from devotees, please do raise. Yes, Mother Gita, please go ahead, Mother. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my most humble obeisances at your lotus feet. All glories to Prabhupada, all glories to you. Thank you so much for your association, Maharaj. Uh, you were talking about uh, expectations. So is it okay to have uh, expectations in spiritual life? It depends. Some expectations are not needed or unnecessary or just self-indulgent. And some expectations are there where they, can, they, they are required in order for us to, re to engage in devotional service. So we have to make that distinction. Um, those expectations that we need are that we are, uh, we need prasadam. <laughs> so we should expect to get prasadam. <laughs> so that's, uh, yeah, we, we want to arrange things in such a way that we can organize our Krishna consciousness. So certain things have to be put in place. 
So if some of these things are not put in place, then it may be impossible or difficult to perform our service properly or even to perform our service at all. So there is some expectations like that, but they shouldn't be uh, seen as, or, or they shouldn't be uh, seen as something that I need in order for me to become happy. I need them in order for me to do my service. Thank you, Maharaj. Does that help? Mm -hmm. Yes, Maharaj, thank you. Hmm. Uh, dear Krishna, you can go next, Prabhu. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble witnesses. I'll go to Srila Prabhupada, all the way to you. Uh, Maharaj, wonderful uh, class. Uh, in the beginning of the class, you mentioned about emotions, that emotions are allowed uh, as long as they are directed properly. So how can I know that when I'm putting my emotions in the devotion service, are they uh, authentic, bona fide, or coming from the right source? A lot of that is explained in the Shastras, and we learn from these different uh, pastimes of Krishna, especially in Bhagavatam, how emotions are being played out, and what are the wrong emotions, and what are the right emotions. We see that in Krishna's Leelas. Um, and so there, that by, by hearing and studying Krishna's Leelas, and also hearing from our spiritual master, what is the the correct understanding on how to one should act in this particular situation. It helps us to, you know, to gather uh, those emotions in the right way and not in the wrong way. And this is like anger. So anger is is um, is an emotion that can be used in Krishna's service when it's directed against those who who are blaspheming the supreme personality of Godhead or is pure devotee. But if that emotion of anger is used in any other way, then it is material and it also brings one down. And that's an example. <clears throat> Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Next, that, uh, I'm that, sorry. Apply, that applies to many emotions, not just anger. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. Uh, Niti Gopal, you can go with your question. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Maharaj, Danud Pranam, Slipropath, Kijay, all glories to you, Maharaj. Thank you so much for such a wonderful class, Maharaj. So thank you uh, so much for bringing the different situation, how Lord interact. So, I mean, my question is how one can understand things happening in one's life is by one's karma or happening by the Lord Sri Krishna's mercy. <laughs> It really doesn't matter, <laughs> except everything is Krishna's mercy. <clears throat> it, because it's happening, you have to process it. So you're processing it, whether it's from your karma or from Krishna's mercy. But you're also, the results of you, the karma you get also are given to you by Krishna through the material energy. This question has come up many times and then we, we come to the same conclusion. It seems like there is a distinction to be made, but when when these situations happen to you, don't try to sort it out. Well, was it my karma? Is it Krishna's mercy or what? Just see it as something that you can you have to deal with and take advantage of it and uh, move forward in your spiritual life. If you try to figure it out, you may never be able to figure it out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Yeah. The point is how to deal with it, not so much where it's coming from. <laughs> so many, if you take it as Krishna's mercy, the devotee will, you know, uh, definitely will take it positively and make right. the right decision. Yeah, that's that verse. The Tenu Kampam Bujale Vidvava Hubir Yom Mukti so that is that one Krishna will somehow or other give some difficulty to a devotee just to purify them. And that difficulty is seen as an opportunity for, 
for the, 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 the devotee to offer prayers to the Lord by thanking the Lord for the mercy that he has shown them. And Yeah, that's that's a wonderful thought. I mean, if one thinks that you know things coming in one's life is for his purification, definitely is gonna help one to progress. Yeah. Thank you so much, Maras. Yeah, that's the mo that's the main point. Nice question, Nita Gopal, and thank you, Marsh, for such a wonderful answer. And you're right, Marsh, that it, that question keeps coming up, and I'm glad you you nicely. Made it so simple for us, like you always do, Marsh. Thank you so much. Next is um, Prikshit. He has a question. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to you. All glories to Shri Prabhupada. Thank you again. I could the same thing. Wonderful lecture. Um, when you were talking about, when you were describing Krishna, how unique he is, he owns everything. Therefore, if he gives, um, he doesn't lose out if he, he takes it's really for the benefit of the person that's uh, giving to Krishna. Then it made me think because this is sometimes in, uh, in situations, um, and more than once, I've been in a situation where some people are criticizing Krishna for his activities, the um, relationship with the gopis. Mm -hmm. I know they look at it from a material standpoint, but how to you know answer um, such people? I've used something <laughs> similar to what you just said, and I wanted to make sure that it's it's a good idea to use it or you know critique it, turn it whatever way. Um, the only thing is, they said the gopis were married, mm -hmm. and Krishna has been in the night with gopis were married, and I said, but Krishna owns the husbands too. So, so, and that sometimes doesn't sit well with them, um, even though it is true because he owns everything. So I wanted a uh, comment from you as to whether this could be refined a little bit so that it could be a little more acceptable to them. The fact is he does in fact own everything, therefore he owns the husbands too. Hare Krishna. Well, these husbands that are in that, and this was brought out in Gopal Champu, these husbands are simply there to enhance the whole loving mood of lawless love. Because lawless love is more exciting than uh, married love uh, because it has a certain adventure into it. Of course, in the material world, it's the worst thing. It's the lowest thing. But in the spiritual world, it's the highest thing. Uh, so what Krishna does is that he's enhancing that loving relationship in different ways. And uh, these so-called husbands are simply uh, playing that role in order to increase Krishna's uh, happiness or Krishna's enjoyment in that relationship with the gopis. That's all. It makes it more exciting. The gopis cannot be married to anybody but Krishna. <laughs> and in, in Gopal Champa, at the very end of the uh, uh, entire book, in the la towards the last chapter, Krishna marries all the gopis. There's actually a wedding ceremony. First he marries Radharani, then he marries all the other gopis, just to show that he is the real husband of all women. <laughs> Thank you very is, much. Yeah, this is also brought out with Rukmini. And Rukmini, and finally, after she, you know, responds to Krishna's <laughs> trying to, she says, who and who, what woman in their right mind would accept uh, a, a body which is filled with mucus, bile, air, stool, uh, blood, pus, and so many other things covered with skin, mustaches, and beard. Who would, what, woman would, <laughs> what woman would accept that over you? <laughs> <laughs> so that's something to think yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. So Krishna is the real husband of everyone, all the women mm. in the world. Mm. I like Krishna. Thank you very much. And, and because he's the only one that can really satisfy them completely. Mm -hmm. mm. I like Krishna. Yeah. 
So just to tell tell your friends that these husbands that they're so-called married to are just there in order to increase the excitement of Krishna's enjoyment with the gopis. That's all. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Unless they read the scriptures or hear from the pure devotees, they're going to, they're going to, they're not going to understand. Well, there's some envy too. So, <laughs> yeah, because you know, they compare him to Lord Ram and Lord Ram had one wife and said, these guys, are, they don't understand Swakia Ras and Parakia Ras. They don't, they don't even right. understand that. So that's yeah, a problem. Well, well, Ram played that role in that particular Leela, but Krishna's role is he's, he is the supreme god of all gods, and whatever he does is perfect. <laughs> yeah. It has to be understood like that. Otherwise, if they have, if they either either envious or they take take issue with Krishna doing that, then they don't have, they have no understanding of the nature of God. Mm. And can't go back to Godhead either. <laughs> no. no problem. They're going to go the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Maharaj. Are there other questions from devotees? March, I have a question when you were uh, uh, um, addressing Mother Gita's question about expectation, and you mentioned um, that we should be able to make distinction of our expectations. How can we uh, make how how can we make distinctions, my March, with our expectations not getting it all mixed up with attachment? Depends on the role you're playing. Prabhupada says for grihastas, there are some expectations in order to carry on their grihasta ashram. But you might say for sannyasis, there's less or maybe even none at all. It depends on the ashram also. Thank you, Maharaj. Yeah. So you have to make that distinction. And you, and you have to analyze, do I actually need this for my service or I just think that I, that I just want it because I want it because I, I like it or therefore it should come to me. Like that. Mm. Thank you, Maharaj. Are there other questions from devotees, other uh, clarification that anyone has? Marge, I have one more question, and this is relating to and we uh, to death of family members because we've had a, one question a few months ago um, when uh, last year when there was a lot of death due to COVID and family members that were you know in India somewhere here, and there was a question of um, how much is um, um, hmm, I'm trying to see. Healthy attachment when a family me uh, member leaves his or her body, what is the level of, of, of attachment that is safe for a devotee not to be so attached to the person, you know, like for example, um, that there's, there's always this tight knitness, you know, tightness amongst family and children. And when the parent leaves the body, it's like, oh my God, my world just came, you know, it, it, it just crushed down on me kind of a thing. And so the question is, what is a healthy attachment, or is there a healthy attachment when a family member leaves? Well, I think that might be based on the person involved. As if we say, we see here that there is some attachment to the family members here in this particular Leela, what we're talking about, and there is some grief because of that. But then again, I mentioned, and this is also understood in broader circles that that attachment should not bring us away from Krishna, but bring us towards Krishna. Uh, it should make us more Krishna conscious and not more bodily conscious. Um, you have to see uh, whether it is based on there is some concern. I mean, why do we develop relationships? Because there's some affection there. And when the relationships are, are 
you know, destroyed by death. There is some feeling of loss. But if it, and like I said, if it's if it just continues, and it and it, it just occupies one's consciousness, and they they can't focus on their devotional service, then that's material. So attachment to the person should be attachment to giving that person uh, the association that you can give them that will help them in their Krishna consciousness. In other words, our relationship with everybody, anyone else is based on the idea of service. If it's not based on service, then it's material. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Are there other questions from devotees? Any clarification? And reflection. Okay. Marj, would you like to um, end the class with a round, Marj? I, I just remember that we didn't do it the last time we gave us. I apologize, Marj. It's interesting. I saved one round just for this particular class. How do you roll? <laughs> <laughs> I usually chant 16 rounds, but now I chanted 15 today, knowing that I will get to do my 16 soon. <laughs> and now I know why the, the thought came into my mind because I completely forgot to ask that the last time. And I said, oh my God, I blooped, I oopsed. So this time I don't want to oops it. <laughs> I was going to mention it anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you, Marge. Thank you. But I think you, since you reminded me, it was better that it came that way. <laughs> Okay, so we can end it end with the Yuga Dharma, the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And we also always have to remember that we approach the holy name through the, the mercy of the holy name by offering our prayers to the Lord in the form of Panchatattva. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadara, Sivasari, Gaur Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Krishna Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama. Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Krishna, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Rama. Sahari Krishna Sahari Hari Rama Rama Sahari Hari Rama Rama Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Rama Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari Hari. Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari. Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari. Hari 
algo sal. Hari 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 Ram 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 Hari Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Ram 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 Hari Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari Hari Shil Prabhupati Jai. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you so much, Mark, for a wonderful class. And we thank the devotees for joining us. Vancha Krafti Piyascha Kripa Siddha Vevacha Patita Nam Pavane Vyo Vaishnavi Vyo Namo Namaha Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. And just a quick announcement. Just two quick announcements. One is this Saturday is Philadelphia Rati Yatra. It starts at 12 o'clock and we ask devotees if you're able to attend, please do so and support the temple in Philadelphia. They especially need help um, in the serving of the prasadam. Um, that's where they're shorthanded. So if anyone can at least offer an hour of service, that would be great. And His Holiness Chandramali Swami will be at Philadelphia Rati Yatra with all the other sannyasis. So we look forward to seeing them. And Maharaj will also be giving the class this Sunday at the Harrisburg Temple with our GPC his Grace Anutama Prabhu. So we ask the bodies to please be on time for the temple program on Sunday at five o'clock. Until then, thank you so much. Hare Krishna. And thank Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, don't forget my question I asked you. <laughs> I did not forget, Maharaj. I'm working on it and I'm waiting for the reply. <laughs> Okay, good. All right, thank you. My obeisances to you and all the devotees. Such a wonderful program. Every time I I have the opportunity to speak on this class, I always feel like it's something that is really beneficial for me anyway. It's really thank nice. Thank you so much. We look forward to hearing your classes, March, and we're excited that we get to have your association and your darshan this weekend. It's like mercy weekend for us. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna Maharaj. Jai. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Okay, Gopal. Shumati. Shumati. It's still, co you're still coming up as, as Lavanya on your. Uh, no, Guru Maharaj. Uh, I accidentally came up, but uh, I couldn't change my name. Uh, Anasuya Mataji has uh, put a restriction not to change names. Oh, oh I didn't do that. I'll ask my daughter. See, I'm <laughs> learning how to host this thing <laughs> because my daughters are in school. So, but I next time, just message me and I'll change it for you, Srimati. Don't even. Yeah feel restricted <laughs> yes, sure, thank you so much Srimati <laughs> and her husband is Sri Krishna Chaitanya they Shri... got initiated last week right I think that's yes. what Sri, Sri Mati told me last week I was very happy for them <laughs> yes. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. you're very fortunate <laughs> thank you <laughs> Believe me, I mean what I'm talking about. You're very fortunate to have Chanamaya Swami as a master. 
Jai, Guru Maharaj ki Jai. Oh boy, I think I better go. I knew Maharaj was going to say that. I knew Maharaj was going to say that he's going to log off. <laughs> Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Krishna, thank you.